All right. All right, we're going to break down uh, this word zealous. Yeah, we're going to break this down. Now, it's funny because zealous has two different meanings in the Bible. And it was changed by man. But um, let's try this biblical expression, and uh, we're going to begin with uh, emotion. Deep, passionate commitment with God's devotion. With truth and accuracy led by God's law. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do it with truth and accuracy led by God's law, followed by common sense. So let's begin with Acts. No, no, no. First, let me give you the definition of zealous. Fanatical. But energetically intense on commitment. Now, that sounds right. But in the 16th and 17th century, it referred to a quality of apprehensiveness or jealousy. And then in the 18th century, they changed the meaning. All right, now we're going to go biblical. Uh, go to Acts 22.3 and see the definition of zealous. And then go to Zechariah chapter 8, verse 2. Contradiction. Here goes Zechariah uh, 8.2. The Lord was jealous of Zion. Why is God jealous? Ain't that a sin? Hmm. A great jealousy for her with great flurry. Why does God always have to be mean? And why give different meaning to zealous? To open to John chapter 4, verse 24. God is spirit. You hear me? God is spirit, not booklet, not pamphlet. And those who praise him, you got to come in truth. Go to 2 Samuel 23, 2. The spirit of the Lord spoke to me and put these words in my tongue. So I flipped to Revelations chapter 15, verse 5. I did what I was told. The temple of the tabernacle for testimony in heaven is open and I'm coming in. And the strength of God will rest on my vocals. You hear me? So I mix it with wisdom and understanding. The fear of God and knowledge. That's Isaiah chapter 11, verse 2. And then I go to Proverbs because I love me some Proverbs. I go to Proverbs chapter 10, verse 16. And I want you to listen. The labor of a righteous man will outlive the revenue of the wicked man. And I end it with a quote from chapter 2, verse 10 of Revelations. Fear not the things that you suffer. See, because the devil will cast some of us in jail. You'll be tired, but you'll have tribulations for 10 days. But be faithful till death, and I'll crown you with everlasting life. And then go to 11. He has an ear, so let him hear. Say it to the churches. That's what I'm doing. I'm reading verses. But I ain't jealous or zealous of the book is wrote in. I just question who wrote them. Again. Get again. Listen to again. It's an adjective from Old English. It means toward opposite, contrary to, towards a former place or position. This was copied from ancient history, y'all. Here's the reason I question the validity. Romans 10, verse 9. If you confess with your mouth, this is why I question the validity. Romans 10, verse 9. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, then you'll be saved. And that's when I get my ancient history book. And I go to uh, 2927 BCE, the story of Horus. Then I flip to Psalms 23.4. Cause that's who I praise, not a fictional character. Died Friday, rose in three days, Sunday, see, I'm done. Gabriel came to Mary in November, 8 BC, okay? He came to her in November, 8 BC. Jesus was born Christmas, 7 BC. You see them? You, you see them out here? The angel didn't come back for another round, did he? All right. Then he should have been born Christmas, August, 7 BC. Math, peeps. You got to look at the math. Because God is perfect. So he was going to be born perfectly. You understand? In March, 8 B.C., Augustus. Now, he was the uh, emperor. Augustus needed to count everyone for the new census. That's how we got the census. That's also the month that Mary and Joseph got married. But here's the funny. Joseph was 21, but he knew Mary since he was 19. And he never got none. And his wife was pregnant by someone. Now, listen to Jesus' siblings. A perpetual virgin. Mark, chapter 6, 3. OK, his his siblings are James, Josie, Judah and Simon. And James was younger than Jesus. 
So Joseph cheated on Mary because those ain't her children. See the Tampa? That's why, um, that's why my belief in these books damper because I know they ain't true. <laughs> they just ain't true. Still beautiful, poetic read, though. Who's Joe Humpin? Sounds like a soap opera. He got four kids while he was married. Because he was 19 when they met. I have to find out who's their mama. So I opened up the Mark 16.1. Luke 24.10. Matthew 27.56. All have different accounts. And Mark 15.40. <sighs> Mary ain't has sex. But has children. None of this matches. It's only contradiction. From Genesis to Revelation. From in the beginning to war to the ap apocalypse. Adam, Eve, Job, Jesus, and a couple more born perfect. Well, that takes from the essence of importance in perfect. If everyone is doing it. You know, perfect rising from the dead. Having babies with no sex. The evilness of the text leaves me vexed. And all I want to do is praise the head, not the non-relevant for a sin. Peace. Creation Bay.